Hi, I'm Terry Tran, founder of thefreedomtrader.com. No matter what our goal is, whether it's having enough uh, cash or money to invest in, say, real estate, buying shares in a company, or having a rainy day fund, we're all aware that saving money is something that we should be doing. There are some of us that enjoy saving money, but for most of us, if we do it at all, view it as a necessary evil. I like to equate in managing personal finances with the sport of swimming. So using swimming as an analogy, here are the three important lessons that I learned as a fund manager and how we can apply them to investing or trading. First, maintain focus and have a positive mindset. Over five years ago, I decided to learn how to swim long distance. Then sort of three months in, I realized that I didn't put much effort into learning and training. I mean, that being said, I was still able to swim further than in the past and I'd really learned an important valuable lesson while I was actually at it. I mean, sure, we need to have that physical stamina to swim long distance, but mental stamina and strength is even more important. So no matter how much physical training that I did, if I hadn't remained focused, optimistic and rational throughout the whole swim, I would never have been able to swim that long distance and complete lap after lap. So the same thing sort of goes for investing and trading. If we don't have that focus and a positive mindset, success is gonna be very hard to reach and achieve. Lesson two, manage and minimize risk. Swimming can carry all sorts of physical risks such as you know, sunburn, sore necks, and even say pulled muscles are all too common. I mean, while we can't avoid all the risks in swimming, we can minimize them. So in the world of investing and trading, we need to do the same as well. For example, we can diversify our portfolio across asset classes and instruments and even geographies, and that will minimize the risk. I mean, if we only focus say on one type of investment, we can increase that chance of losing all. Finally, slow and steady. To finish a long distance swim, we need to set a healthy pace. By figuring out you know, what pace we need to maintain in order to go that distance, we're then likely to cross the finish line and achieve that desired outcome. So translating that into the language of investing, we need to have that proper long-term mindset and not take on too much risk and risk that, you know, the risk on all any in particular trade or investment. And that will allow us to, us to achieve that long-term success. On the other hand though, if we sort of throw everything at it into that one investment without thinking the long-term goal, then we risk losing it all and not achieving the goal at all. So to summarize, here are the three investment lessons that I learned as a fund manager. Lesson one, maintain focus and a positive mindset. Lesson two, manage and minimize risk. And finally, slow and steady, just like a turtle that wins the race. Just as you know, swimming has provided me with the, the important lessons both inside and outside the sport, you can use investment lessons that have been listed here to be able to reach your investment goals as well. So thanks for watching. I really love you to leave a comment below, like, and even share your investment or trading journey to date. I really love to know where you're at at your current investment journey. Hey my friends, it's Terry. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'd love you to do me two favors. Number one, subscribe to this channel so you can continue to get updates from me every time I release new free trainings for you. Number two, if you really want to get ahead financially a little bit faster, what I'd like to do is give you my free 10-step stock checklist to help you get to the best stocks and avoid the crappy ones so you can grow your wealth much, much faster. So if you've got that goal of achieving financial freedom for yourself in your life, or you just want to achieve it much faster, you really, really don't want to miss having this tool right next to you. In order to have this, just go right ahead, click on the link in this post, or go to thefreedomtrader.com. That is the, T-H-E, freedom, F-R-E-E-D-O-M, trader, T-R-A-D-E-R.com, and you can download this checklist for free. So just tell me your name, your email, and I'll email this to you right away. The same stock checklist that I use to create my own financial freedom stock portfolios without taking silly, stupid risk. Thanks for tuning in, and until I see you next time, go out there every single day and live fully by creating the financial freedom that you deserve today.